Hi, I'm Kurt Bossart from Denison Yachting. Today we're going to take you through this 2014 Ferretti 960, which is the largest and most innovative in the Ferretti line of yachts. What makes the 960 stand out from anything else that Freddy has built is first off, it's the largest in the line. Secondly, it has an award-winning innovative transom design that doubles as a tender garage. It also has a combination gyro and stabilizer fin to add zero speed stabilization. We're going to start today's walkthrough all the way aft on the innovative and award-winning transom. On the swim platform, we really get a feel for the size and the beam of this yacht. Above the teak platform, we have a nice, comfortable bunny pad, which at the touch of a button lifts up to reveal the tender garage. The garage houses a 12-foot Williams jet tender. On the starboard side is your passerelle, and opposite on the port side is your engine room access. Down here in the engine room, we have two 16V2000 MTU M96L series engines, which have 2,650 horsepower apiece, driving the yacht at a top speed of 31 knots and comfortably at 27 crews. Stepping back out onto the swim platform, we're going to head up to the aft deck. As you step up to the aft deck, you'll notice these hatches to port and starboard. Lift these hatches and you'll see cap scans and cleats that are concealed, giving the Ferretti a clean profile. My favorite thing about the layout on this aft deck is how the alfresco dining table is pushed forward. The benefit of this is twofold. It allows for the use of the aft setting settee without sliding around a dining table and also allows for full service around the dining table. On the port side of the aft deck is a docking and steering station. Opposite the steering station on the starboard side are stairs leading up to the sun deck. Centerline underfoot on the aft deck is an additional engine room access. On both port and starboard, there are side decks giving us access to the bow. Midship is your formal entry into the salon, which we'll come back to in just a minute. What impresses me about these side decks is that they're wide and comfortable, allowing easy access to the bow. Out here on the foredeck, there are two lounging spaces. The first is the sun pad. Forward of the sun pad are these two forward-facing bench seats separated by the stairway. The ground tackle consists of two windlasses, 350 feet of chain, and two anchors. The salon is just on the other side of this pneumatic door. When you first step into the Club M salon, you're taken back by the volume of the space and light. Here on the port side is the main living area of the yacht with a large white sectional that wraps around a coffee table. On the starboard side all the way aft is this beverage center. Below the countertop is a beverage chiller as well as a wine cooler. Just forward is a pop-up flat screen TV. To both port and starboard, we have electric shades. Forward of the living area is your formal dining room. This frosted glass dining table seats up to 10. Once again, on the starboard side, we come back to the formal entry. This is the perfect space on board to walk outside and have that morning cup of coffee. 
Continuing forward on the starboard side, we pass stairs which wind down to the guest accommodations and arrive at the day head. Immediately forward of the day head is the on-deck master stateroom, which features an inline king-size berth. All the way aft is a walk-in wardrobe. Forward on both port and starboard side below these massive windows are cabins which feature more storage. Above the cabins on the starboard side is a pop-up vanity. From the bed facing aft is a television and a second hanging locker. All the way forward in the master stateroom is your ensuite head. Leaving the master stateroom, we now take those winding stairs down to the guest accommodations. At the foot of the stairs are four open and bright guest cabins. All four cabins feature a queen-size bed, large windows, a hanging locker, and an ensuite bathroom. A great feature of all four staterooms is a spectacular view just above the waterline. Leaving the guest accommodations, we jump back up to the main deck, through the dining room, and into the galley. The appliances in this modern chef's galley consist of a dishwasher, garbage compactor, Bosch five burner stove top, and refrigerator. Leaving here, heading up to the wheelhouse, we pass this watertight door giving access to the side deck. Access to the wheelhouse is opposite this watertight door and up the staircase. The first thing you'll notice in the pilot house are your four high-definition touchscreens. These screens can be configured to display your chart plotter, radar, ship monitoring systems, and security cameras. Directly below your full-color displays are your engine monitors. Directly forward of those are your MTU digital throttle controls. All the way starboard of your throttles are your zero-speed stabilizers, VHF radio, Simrad autopilot, and bow and stern thruster. At your steering station, we have a fully adjustable Bezanzoni helm seat. After the helm seat is an L-shaped settee, as well as stairs that take you up to the flybridge. The flybridge on Club M has to be one of the largest on this size yacht. All the way forward on the port side is your upper helm station. And opposite to starboard is a second docking station. Behind this docking station is your outdoor double grill and wet bar. This wet bar features a glass bar top as well as an ice maker. On the aft side of the bar are two bar stools. Opposite from here on your port side is your dinette. Around the dinette is U-shaped seating and after that is your sun deck. There are two primary configurations for the sun deck. The first of two is shaded. There are sails that run overhead, fore and aft in three sections. As seen in the second configuration, this space is wide open and inviting. Facing forward from here, we see the hardtop. Embedded in the hardtop is a convertible sunroof. On behalf of myself and the rest of the team at Dennis and the Yachting, thank you for joining me on Club N, the 2014 Ferretti 960. If you would like a full spec sheet or to schedule a walkthrough, please contact me at any time.